What's up guys, it is Zilla back again today with another video. Today we're going to be talking about movesteps for Sceptile in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now that the Crown Tundra DLC has come out, the Hoenn starters are all available to use. So, talking about Blaziken, we talked about Blaziken in the last video, talking about Sceptile in this video, and then Swamper. But yeah, this is a Sceptile video, so yeah. Um, also, if you're interested, I'm holding two giveaways for legit shiny Pokemon. They're not hacked or anything. Um, I'll put links to them. They're probably at the end of the video, so if you're interested in those, watch those videos to learn how you can obtain some legit shiny Pokemon. But yeah, let's talk about Sceptile. Alright, Sceptile abilities, Unburden and Overgrow. Unburden doubles your speed when you lose your item. Okay, awesome. So, what you do, Grassy Seed, pair it with a Rillaboom in doubles or uh, Rillaboom in singles. You leave with Rillaboom, you U-turn out or something. Um, in singles, you get Sceptile out, and then your Grassy Seed activates, and now you're in Grassy Terrain. You got plus two speed, you can go for Swords Dance, and you can Grassy Glide stuff. Or in doubles, you can go with Rillaboom 2 and give it Fake Out or something, while your Sceptile goes for Swords Dance, and it's Unburdened Prompt because of Grassy Seed, and you're hitting stuff with a lot of heavy hitting damage grass moves. The only problem with that is you're running two grass types, so you're really super susceptible to air streams and flares and max hail storms and even non dynamax super effective moves. So you gotta be careful about those, but yeah. That's basically how you proc uh, Subtiles Unburden. At least the easiest way to do it. Now, with this EV spread, it's kind of odd, as you can see, but when you're at level 50 and you, got, you doubled your speed, you don't even need to invest into it because you're at base 120. When your speeds double with an adamant nature, you're hitting 280, nothing's outspeeding you. Not even a Feramosa. Maybe a Choice Scarf Feramosa? I don't know, but that's weird and nobody would run that. So, so with the with this, I got Swords Dance, Protect, Grass Glide, Acrobatics. So, I was kind of thinking this with doubles, but if you want to run in the singles, get rid of Protect and put something else there like Earthquake. So let's just do that because you do get access to Earthquake. And now you're going to be hitting stuff super mega hard. Except for Earthquake kind of sucks in grassy terrain, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah. So, Grassy Glide with that plus two attack going to be hitting like a truck. Because we all know what Grassy Glide does in grassy terrain. It gives uh, priority to Grassy Glide and it makes it even more powerful. And Acrobatics because you lost your Grassy Seed and Acrobatics is going to be su hitting super hard with that plus two attack from your Swords Dance. And from being boosted from... Uh, having no item because you uh, got rid of your grassy seed your septile is going to be hitting super hard guy It's going to be su hitting super hard. So um, Let's look at its uh, difference between its attack and its special attack though. Base 85 attack. That's kind of garbage It's not it's not very good. It's not very good. Base 105 special attack. That's all right. That's usable But septile has like no special moves to like take advantage of it. It has like giga drain, leaf storm Frenzy plant if you really want to use that but it doesn't have like coverage for like other types, so you, you if you want to run a septile, you pretty much have to go physical, and you got swords dance, too, swords dance too to kind of alleviate that. So yeah, that's basically my idea behind this first septile move set. It can be ran in singles or doubles. Just replace protect with a coverage move, and you're good to go. Next up is another septile that's not so reliant on having a uh, grassy grassy terrain setter. So what you do is you substitute a couple times. You're gonna be, you're out speeding like almost everything. So except for like Ferrimosa, Dragapult, you know the, the works. So what you do is you substitute a couple times until Light You Berry procs. Light You Berry um, when you reach a third of your health, uh, a third, a quarter of your health, you can and get an attack boost from your Light You Berry. So what you do is you sort substitute a couple times probably three times if you're at full health and your opponent isn't like doing any damage to you. Swords, try to get a Swords Dance in there somewhere and then you can like Leaf Blade or Earthquake. To run something like this you definitely want to have an even number of hit points so that uh, it can calculate your quarter damage properly. And, um, and then yeah, Substitute Swords Dance and then Leaf Blade Earthquake for the awesome grass coverage and stuff. Alright, so that's the idea behind this second septile moveset. Let's move on to the last one. Just a simple life orb attacker with overgrow. You don't want really care about unburden on this one because unburden only does doubles your speed when you lose your item. And you don't want to lose your life orb. So let's go overgrow here. When you're at a third of your health, 
you get your grass moves get 50% more powerful. So that's kind of cool. So what you do here is you go for a sword stance, and you can leaf blade stuff, you can earthquake stuff, you can aerial ace stuff. With uh, this kind of uh, septile, it's probably just better to go with a uh, sword dancing bullet boom because it sets its own grassy terrain. Um, it can just grassy glide. It can sword dance. It can grassy glide. It can still run. It runs acrobatics as its flying move, so it's not the best if you're running a choice one or not running a choice one. If you're running sword dance, but you know whatever. Bullet boom is a, a little bit slower. And it, has, it hits way harder. So if you want the sword dancing grass type, I'd probably just go with Brilla Boom, honestly, because you just because pretty much what you want to do is just do a bunch of grass damage anyway. So if you really want to run sword dance septile though, with just a life orb, this is uh, it's not the worst idea. So yeah, if I was to run septile, I'd probably go with something like this though. This is my favorite one. Anyways, but yeah, that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. What do you guys think of Sceptile? Is it uh, is it your favorite Hoenn starter? I honestly don't have a favorite Hoenn starter. I'm not a big Hoenn fan, so... Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, if you rank singles, doubles, moveset guides, all sorts of cool competitive stuff on my channel, so if you're interested in that stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button. But yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.